اهلا بكم في جوله اتنين اليوم جولتنا لسه مستمره في كاليفورنيا بس نجمه الحلقه النهارده هي نجمه حياتنا الشمس مورد الحياه والطاقه وغير الفوائد اللي بتقدمها لنا التصوير من غير ضوء شبه مستحيل هنشوف تاثيرها في مراوح توليد الطاقه ومعرض زجاج راندي واخيرا في جلسه تصوير في بيفرلي هيلز جولات ميكو، جولات ميكو جولتنا النهارده في طواحين الهواء. جولتنا النهارده بتتكلم عن طواحين الهواء الالكترونيه اللي هي بتشتغل اقول لكم على حاجه احنا النهارده في كاليفورنيا في صحراء كاليفورنيا فيما يعادل 21000 طاحونه معانا راندي المسؤول عنهم هنكلمه هنعرف منه عن الموضوع وليه هنا وبيعمل ايه. هلو راندي هاي هاي هاو ار يو؟ فيري جود هاو ار يو؟ جود تو ميت يو ثانك يو فور يور تايم بيفور هاو ار يو؟ Very good. It's a beautiful day at Wind Farm. You know, marvelous. I'm just worried about the wind because there is a lot of wind, but I realize it's a windmill place. That's why we're here. The San Gregorio Pass area, which is what this is, it is one of the windiest spots in the country. This? Yes. Just this pass area. And so we get very the consistent of the US winds. Or just well, in Cali California. It, both California and in the US. Oh. You know, but it's a very concentrated area, just a very small area, but it's one of the windiest. Okay, so I, I've seen windmill here, I've seen windmill there. But I've seen I've seen them different. I've seen one with the white stand, the normal one. Uh -huh. But here in the States I've seen something different, which is look like Eiffel Tower. What's the difference between this one and the one right there? Well, the difference is, is, is age. The Eiffel Towers are all old because they discovered some faults in them. And so they don't really build them that much anymore. The white tubular towers, the wind just goes around and it works much better. But uh, the machines we have out here on this, on this property are made by General Electric and they're 1.5 megawatts output. Now, 1.5 megawatts is equal to 1,500 kilowatts and that will power about 500 average American homes. The largest wind turbines we have are made by Vestas, a Danish company. They're three megawatts or 3,000 kilowatts and they'll power about a thousand U.S. homes. Oh, so windmills, we would say to the wood one, to the Amsterdam style one, which is yes, we yes. used to like great uh, corn and do so many things. Yes. What's the difference between this one and this one? Well, of course, these make electricity, and they do it strictly with the power of wind. Uh, it, nothing else makes them go but the wind, and so as they do that, they're making electricity with free power. Wow. So this is basically now we're getting natural resources. Yes. From the sun for the solar panels, and from the wind for the wind turbine. And our wind is actually sun-generated because it, the wind is a result, in many cases, of all the heat we have here in the desert, and it gets pushed up into the pass, and it sucks in cooler air from the west. And so it's because the, the air was heated up that we have the wind. We're only the third largest wind park in California. I want to know how they generate electricity. Is it just as simple as? Well, it's pretty pretty interesting. Uh, we have a fuel that never changes in price. Fuel is always the same. It's always free. Yes. Because that's all that makes these wind turbines go is the wind. And the and the and the modern machines have variable pitch blades, and the blade is going to stay where the wind's only going to hit them here until they get enough wind, which is normally eight to ten miles an hour. Then they're going to turn the blades. Now they're kind of like an aircraft wing. They're designed to create lift. 
and that starts pushing the blades around and that turns it a shaft and that shaft goes into a gearbox right inside the nacelle, that big enclosure up on top. And inside that gearbox, there's really incredible gear ratio changes happening. And another shaft comes out the backside and that spins the generator. Okay. So we're taking the free power of wind, we're turning it into mechanical power, mechanical and then we're turning that into electrical power. Amazing. And we're not polluting anything around us or below us. When was this created? This was created in, in early 80s, early 1980s. So this is not to damage our environment, this is a great way of helping our globe to be a better place. Absolutely, because as you produce that electricity, you're not doing anything to pollute anything. That's it. It's and we save water. Yeah, exactly. And I imagine that's something that you guys have to worry about, we have to worry about yeah. it, because most electrical generation uses water, but not wind or solar. With all of this electricity is generated in the future we won't maybe we won't need any any fuel any like because now with all the cars some of most cars now they can be operated by electric cars like tesla right which is made here between wind power solar power and batteries we could power the world we could power the world no fuel no coal no yes. burning nothing yes. yes come on people come on listen to him he's saying the right thing randy i swear to god it was an honor Thank you so much. I hope it starts from here, from the windmill tools here at this beautiful place to go to the rest of the world, globalize it, more global, globalize it, make it everywhere. Be good to the nature. I love nature and that's the reason I'm here, honestly. And thank you so much thank for you. this. I'll go and take a few pictures and um, I know they look amazing in the sunset, but I cannot stay here till the sunset. Yeah. Randy, thank, thank you. you again. Thank you. I'll see you again. All right. يلا بينا نروح ونشوف معرض زجاج جراندي اهلا بكم في راندي لاند راندي لاند واللي هو صممها مستر راندليت كينج لورنس وهو ده اسم الراجل صاحب المشروع الجميل ده اللي ورا مننا والنهارده احنا عنده في المكان في البيت عشان نكتشف السر ما بين الميه والازاز والشمس ولمحبين الفن لمحبين الزجاج لمحبين الشمس لمحبين الطبيعه اهلا بكم في ارض راندي واللي هو صممها بنفسه بايده على مدار 18 سنه راندي how are you welcome i'm one i'm honored and i say welcome 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 to you and your crew and to everyone we're speaking to please don't say this because I might like it and stay. Oh, it's so lovely oh, here. Oh yes, well you wouldn't be the first one to say that. <laughs> My goodness, I, I, I bet, I bet. Randy, what's the inspiration? The inspiration is, as as any creative or artistically inclined person such as yourself knows, the burning to desire is to create something new and beautiful in the world. Amazing. And one day, I was standing at my kitchen window and I had one of those blue teardrop shaped bottles on my windowsill and I was looking north and I saw a giant cumulus cloud 60,000 feet tall 10 times as high as the mountains it was above then I looked down and I saw a blazing light inside that bottle I put my glasses on I looked down and there was that 60,000 foot cumulus cloud shrunken to three inches high and upside down inside wow. and that blazing light was uh, the sun itself and I realized I could make mosaics out of a thousand shining suns. Unbelievable. And that started my journey.
what's the effect of your sun throughout the day on your bottles? Well, what, the fact that they're bottles, people think that this is, um, the medium is that it's a bottle sculpture, and that's fair enough. But in fact, it's only because the bottles are teardrop shaped yeah. and they're full of water. If they weren't teardrop shaped and full of water, the array of light going into your eyes would be uh, totally dissimilar. When they're teardrop shaped, they become not ones, but two lenses. Okay. The, con the fat part becomes a convex lens, which projects the image of the outside world onto your eyes upside down. And then the skinny part is slightly concave. And so it also captures the horizon, but doesn't turn it upside down. It just turns it on its vertical axis. Okay. And the consequence of that is the sun appears every day in every one of those and then slowly splits into two and one goes up and one goes down as the sun traverses the sky. People will discourage you, you know, in all sorts of ways. So it, uh, you have to have the courage of your convictions and the courage comes from the joy. You know what I see when I look at this structure, yeah? Yeah. I see hard work, I see a lot of creativity, I see a lot of love, art, and I see a lot of um, selflessness. Well, uh, selflessness might be going a little too far. <laughs> Why? Because this is not just for you to enjoy. Right. It's for everybody. So you did all of this by, by your own hand and hard work, not just for you, not for other people to enjoy the view too. That's true, but but it, but it gives me pleasure too. That's the key. This is not this is not martyrdom. This is is every step of the way has been fun and beautiful and rewarding for me too. Not just the building of it, the 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 constant creativity, the discovery, the thrill, and then the sharing. It's all been a very rewarding for me too. So, uh, you know, I ain't no Mother Teresa, but I do believe in sharing the love. أحلى حاجة إن الموضوع متعلق جدا 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 بالصور، لأن لما بتيجي تاخد صورة هنا لو خدت صورة الساعة 10 غير لما تاخد صورة الساعة 7 ولو خدت صورة الساعة 8 ما تاخدش صورة الساعة 9 ولو خدت صورة من تحت غير لما تاخد صورة من فوق وما تاخد صورة من الجنب غير لما تاخد صورة من الجنب التاني يعني كل زاوية وكل وقت وكل مكان بيغير الصورة والزمان Did you make this all yourself? Every single thing is done completely by myself. Oh, and uh, not, uh, not because I was determined to do it all by myself. I was the only one available, <laughs> you know? Uh, and, and, and so the structure uh, is, um, cr I created it in such a way that I could build it by myself and that it would support me as it got taller. It's a series of spring-loaded uh, lengths of 20 foot steel, soft steel that we call rebar, reinforcing bar. It usually goes into concrete. But when you spring load it, put it under tension, it becomes much stronger and it can carry a tremendous amount of weight. And then when you interconnect a whole series of spring loaded arches, it becomes a giant steel spider web. In the Holy Quran, in our Holy yes, Book, yes. it says like this, literally like this, if you bring any light, yes. put it into a sphere glass shape. What? It will, I swear to God, this is 14. Uh, oh, now I'm getting yeah, my chills. 40, yeah, like 1,400 years ago, they said like this in the book. If you put any light through something like this, it will ex um, expand the light. It will make the light even more. I wanted to add that you can take this medium of a mosaic of lenses and add more visual interest uh, and a whole new dimension by taking several lenses and putting them in the foreground and then shooting through them. And then when you do that, you get this. Wow. Do you see this? Wow. <laughs> this you're seeing directly in the background, but you're seeing this is also that. Oh. And that, and see how the sky is on the bottom? Isn't, and this is just one, one snapshot, one moment.
نسيب الحرفية والشغف ونروح في أشهر وأرقى مناطق هوليود والعالم بيفرلي هيلز وجلسة تصوير احنا النهارده في بيفرلي هيلز بالتحديد جايين علشان نقابل بيوتي بلوجر واللي هي واحده بتكتب مقالات عن التجميل وعن الشعر وعن الستايل وعن الموضه هي موجوده هنا في لوس انجلوس في كاليفورنيا وجايين نصورها في بيفرلي هيلز وهو هيبقى اول تصوير جلسه تصويريه ليا مع حد في البرنامج My name is Ami Desai and I am a beauty blogger. I'm also a mom to two small children and I live in Manhattan Beach, California, so I am the quintessential California girl. Today is the time that I have a big challenge and that I am the first time I am going to be a model or I have a model or I have a person who is going to be a person and I need to be a picture, not just a picture, but a picture of a picture. Being that I am a modern mom influencer, I like to have my hand in a lot of different hats. So I not only do fashion, lifestyle, but I also do cooking and education stuff. Anything that's going to be relatable for a woman that is just like me. So I like to do it all. أما بتكون بتصور مع بتصور في مكان المكان قدامك ثابت ما بيتحركش. أنت تقدر تتحرك المكان ما بيتحركش ما عندكش مشكلة كتير. بس لما تكون بتصور حد ببقى الموضوع مختلف لان انا مش عايز اوقفهم كتير وخصوصا ان الموضوع بالنسبه لي اول مره ومش في كنترول انفايرمنت البيئه مش متحكم فيها الشمس بتطلع وبتغيب فكان الموضوع صعب ان انا لازم اثبت الالوان من مكان لمكان Biggest piece of advice for anybody that's trying to do the beauty blogging business or anything of that sort, I always tell them that it's the hardest thing to do is to just start. It's so intimidating because you're putting yourself out there and it's scary because you are going to be judged by a lot of people. But honestly, if you don't start putting yourself out there and be consistent with it, you're never going to see the results that you want. Now we have a dip. In, just in the middle, yeah? Just in the middle of the road. في زوايا كتير كنت عايز اخدها ما كنتش عارف اخدها لان كنت خايف النور بيروح فكان نص بيطلع شمس ونص لحد ما جينا وطلعنا الريفليكتور او اللي بيعكس ضوء الشمس ان هو يخلي مثلا اماكن يعني انا لو وقف هنا اهوت والشمس جايه من هنا النص بتاع الوش ده ما فيهوش شمس هيبقى ضلمه فما بتجيب الريفليكتور بياخد من الشمس ويعكس الضوء واول ما حطيت الريفليكتور الصور اتغيرت تماما Absolutely, تماما الصور اتغيرت من صور عاديه لصور محترفه، صور انا نفسي كنت بتفرج على الصور بقول دلوقتي الصوره شكلها بروفيشنال، دلوقتي حتى الصوره لو مش محترفه انا فخور بان انا طلعت صوره زي دي لانها جايبه كل تفاصيلها. الصور والفيلم واي حاجه انتوا بتعملوها من غير نور مالهاش اي لازمه. النور هو المهم النور لو مظبوط الافلام كلها بينقل الحركه وبينقل الاحساس وبينقل المود وبينقل المزاج كله من خلال الضوء الصوت والضوء You're making me cry I'm just kidding <laughs> I think when it comes to modeling the most difficult part is that I am not a model <laughs> I am First and foremost, um, I'm just a real girl that luckily gets to do what I love, which is beauty and lifestyle and everything in between. So sometimes beautiful designers and amazing people like you guys ask me to wear some beautiful clothes that I'm sure a lot of models get to wear, um, just so it makes it more approachable for the real girl if she ever wants to wear designer clothes.
انا كنت مختار اللبس ومختار المجوهرات والاكسسوارات ومختار كل حاجه هي لابساها النهارده علشان عارف يعني دي حاجه كانت من حاجات السهله ان انت ما بتختار انت اللبس انت اوريدي عارف انت عايز تطلع ايه فانا شفت الصوره من قبل ما اصورها I'm having a blast. Actually, today was something that I like to think was very serendipitous because it wasn't planned until um, last minute for me myself. And so the fact that I was able to do this and be a part of it, I'm just, I feel like the luckiest gal ever. كل حاجة مختلفة عن التانية. ما بتكون بتصور مبنى المبنى دائما لي كم زاوية بيبقوا حلوين قوي. المبنى ممكن تاخده من تحت. ممكن تاخده من فوق شكله كويس بس الستات لو خدتهم من العادي بتجيب لهم حته بيقول لك ايه انت عملت لي دقن ثانيه دبل تشين فانت لازم تاخد بالك مش كل الزوايا تنفع تاخدها ممكن تيجي بتصورها من تحت يطلع في حاجات في مناخيرها ولا حاجه يعني عادات يعني فلازم تبقى بتاخد بالك لان المودلز او الناس دول عامه بيبقوا مختلفين I will tell you Mikos is amazing at directing people because he really wants to bring out your best self so he always asks like what are you comfortable in as far as the clothing as well, you know even direction from what how we're imposing so that coming from someone that's directing you is by far i just felt like we we're old friends i would just like i mean honestly the clothes i'm wearing the hair and makeup everything i feel like a princess a bollywood princess and i'm just so grateful so i'm so happy كل يوم بصور في مكان مختلف انا بعتبره حظ ان انا محظوظ ان انا كل يوم عندي حاجه مختلفه اصورها شيء جميل جدا وكل يوم تحدي جديد واللي ما يعني الضربه اللي ما تموتكش تقويك وميكو كمصور انا ما كنتش بعترف بنفسي مصور قوي بس انا بحب التصوير ميكو كمصور النهارده لا انا الحمد لله شويه صغيرين عندي ثقه في نفسي ان انا اقدر اصور واهم حاجه هقدر اقولها النهارده اتمنى ان انا احط الصور اتمنى الصور تكون عجبتكم This is always a scary part because you never know when you're being photographed like what the person that's actually photographing you wants it to end up like so based off of what Miko showed me I think it's going to be amazing probably the prettiest I've ever seen myself I'm going to be really excited to see them because I just I feel like he literally is you know going to embody what I just like it's the Bollywood princess in a Hollywood land so I'm so excited for that <laughs>